Hey everyone, part two of our silly patents looks at another patent, uh, this time in from October 26, 1999, uh, and this time it's a thrust-powered golf club. So a patent assigned to Ajay Joshi and Kurt M. Marshak um, basically has a golf club attached to a air compressor that is on wheels, and you can lug it around a golf course while you uh, play 18 links. And uh, what was really special about this patent is that the golf club and air compressor combination is actually linked so that uh, if when you kind of take your swing, there's a, a jet of air that can be pushed out of the head of the golf club that will actually you know, increase the, the head speed and create a, a faster golf swing to get your, your driver farther. And so, you know, it sounds really silly. Uh, there's basically a, a golf club and in the shaft, there is it's a hollow shaft so you can pass air through it and then the head of the golf club is milled out so there's a little L bracket and a, a little nozzle at the end. So you pump air down in and out and so the uh, air is pushed out the back and there's a little nozzle to kind of maximize the speed at which the air is pushed out and so that gives you a massive kind of force in the direction of your swing so you can actually hit the ball really far. Um, and although the text of the patent doesn't say how far they envision the patent or the envision the golf ball to actually go, the patent itself is extremely uh, valid. You know, um, the prior art dis explains the intention of the, the inventors quite well. Uh, there are two prior art articles uh, cited, first of the invention of the golf club by uh, William C. Bush in 1962, as well as a method for changing the internal pressure of a golf club by Paul W. Painter in 1987. Uh, these two patents, which were cited by the examiner, give clear evidence to where the invention is improving. Uh, Bush's patent describes the modern golf club, which is basically a handle containing uh, a shaft that's connected to a large block object that hits the golf ball, um, which is called the head of the golf ball, uh, which can be pitched at diff different angles. While a patent or while a painter patent describes the ability to change the internal pressure of the golf club by pumping or evacuating the head of the golf club with air. So basically, um, they kind of build on these two by putting them together, and instead of changing the internal pressure, they're actually changing the velocity of the air leaving the head. Instead of just having a closed, enclosed uh, golf head, they have a hole and they're pushing air through it. So that does change the internal pressure of the head um, in Paul W. Painter's uh, patent, but it gives it a release point instead of being enca encapsulated like it was in the Painter patent. So it gives it something that's not novel, non-obvious, um, and this changes kind of the bounciness. Uh, so that opening, that kind of uh, ability to create an opening is what is the improvement in this patent, which allows it to be you know, a, a legitimate patent. So although it sounds really silly to be carrying a, a golf a club and an air compressor around with you, if you want to drive your ball farther, farther it sounds like a great idea. Uh, so, you know, silly patents.